Just 60 seconds to gather yourself after being knocked down in the last round. Now we wow! One punch power has ended this fight. Can you believe that? There is no way he could continue on. It is done. Kia ora team and welcome back to Big Boys Boxing. So today's news is the fight between Manuel Char and Trevor Bryan to consolidate the WBA regular and the WBA interim titles is now off. Reason being is Char does not have the right visa to earn money in the state so effectively can't fight. He has the right visa to travel to the states and that was the responsibility of himself just to get himself there but Don King as the lead promoter was responsible to obtain the working visa to provide a signed contract for the fight and to provide the correct accommodations so on and so forth um, and he has done none of that now apparently yesterday Manuel Char said okay I'm gonna get on a plane and he was due to arrive in the States today I don't know whether he got the news that the fight has been cancelled prior to him getting on a plane or whether he's already there now um, but either way it makes no difference because the fight's off now from all the information that I have seen on this all fingers point to Don King trying to manipulate the situation uh, to try and have Trevor Bryan face Bermain Stavern for the regular title he put in a request to the WBA to do this and place Manuel Char in recess as a champion or possibly even strip him completely but in this situation I can't see how Char is to blame uh, he didn't have a signed contract contract he should have had that weeks ago um, if you don't have a contract for the fight then you there's no point in flying to another country to try and participate in a fight that you don't have a contract for so it looks like Don King has tried to make it as vague as possible um, to try and get his two fighters to fight for a title that neither of them hold now the problem here is the 29th of February was the deadline for the uh, purse bid to be the fight to happen for the purse bid to be valid Don King won the purse bid at two million dollars now it's going to be a purse bid default Don King's gonna lose all the rights and if the WBA has any common sense they're not going to approve Trevor Bryan versus Bermain Stavern for the regular title when it's Don King's fault that the fight never happened so he's made a big stuff up here trying to be smart uh, maybe this sort of thing would have worked 20 years ago um, or even longer 30 years ago when there wasn't so much technology and social media and communications and all that sort of thing to back up everyone's stories now there is an article I will leave in the description you can read through have a look for yourself uh, the attorney for Don King is talking about Char has made this so difficult because he's been changing um, promoters or changing his management team uh, making it too hard for them to be able to communicate and sort of things but I'm not buying that for a second um, this is Don King antics you can see it from a mile away and hopefully the WBA are going to see it as well I don't know if there's going to be any impact on Trevor Bryan is he still going to maintain his title or not I don't know um, 
maybe the WBA will try and get them to reschedule or run another purse bid or uh, something like that but it's getting ridiculous man because neither of these guys have been in the ring for uh, two years char is nearly three years I think um, so or maybe it's Trevor Bryan actually is nearly three years so yeah it is what it is uh, it looks like we'll probably still see Trevor Bryan face uh, Bermain Stavern the show is still going ahead um, and Bermain Stavern still had a TBA next to his name last time I looked I think he was there as a backup it mentions in the article that you got to have a backup as well but um, <clears throat> I'll be extremely surprised if the WBA does approve uh, Brian versus Stavern for the title now it will be good to see Trevor Brian in the ring uh, be able to catch a full fight of the dude uh, there's only really highlights available um, of Trevor Brian so those who haven't really seen him will be able to get a good idea of what's he's, what he's all about I don't think uh, Bermain Stavern has much of a chance of beating him um, Trevor Bryan's pretty slick um, he's getting longer in the tooth but Bermain Stavern is washed at a competitive level so you know maybe maybe it'll be just a good opportunity to get a look at Trevor Bryan fingers crossed they still get in the ring uh, the fight the show itself is going to be on an independent pay-per-view platform um, I think it's going to be a fairly cheap $20 pay-per-view if you want to find a way to watch it but I certainly won't be paying for it um, particularly because it hasn't got that consolidation fight on it but uh, I'd like to hear some of your guys opinions uh, about whose fault you think it is um, what you think the WBA might do and so on and so forth so leave some comments below and we can get some conversation going that is the news out there hope you've enjoyed if you have don't forget to hit that thumbs up subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future content hit that bell icon and I will catch you in the next one I'm Jono from Big Boys Boxing and I'm out see you. Subscribe to Kim Box. That's the one. Yeah.